Ghost House Lauren here with our third video for Night in the Woods. This is going to be our second to last video for the series. There's only four parts. So if you have not watched any of the other two, you can do so in with the link in the description below. So I already forgot what this next chapter is called. So hopefully I get a little refresher. Uh, but just to recap... On what's been going on, um, our protagonist, Mae Borowski, uh, moves back home after dropping out of college, back to her hometown of Possum Springs. Um, she... Uh, uh, she just, you know, just wasn't doing, it just wasn't the, the doing the dang old thing. Um, and now we got to the point where, like, our parents were asking about it, but now our mom's being, like, you know, real passive-aggressive, typical mom fashion, right? Um, we just did Harvest Fest, and we watched someone get kidnapped. So I think now we are really getting into the nitty-gritty of what the fuck is going on in Possum Springs, and, you know, that itself is exciting, I guess. So anyway... <laughs> All right, let's check our journal here. Okay, so this is what we saw. Here was Harfest. So, what is it? I do not know. Let's check our, it's been a fucking hot minute. I don't even remember the controls. All right. Le Danse du Souris. Hey May, thanks so much for thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hey dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Q. All right, let's go see if our mom is mad at us. I bet she is. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different, huge and spooky, making weird noises at night. Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Why, what is it with moms that just say the most absolutely god-awful hurtful shit to their daughters sometimes, and then they just act like nothing? Like, whether it's an hour or the next day. Like, the amount of times that my mom's done that shit? Yeah, what do you want, mother? Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. This better be an apology. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, you fucking better be. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed, too. I saw some weird stuff last night, or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later, I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. <laughs> After your incident a few years back... As you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Geez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past, let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, turns out it wasn't a very good deal and I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? because the bank took advantage of us and now they own the house and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? 
means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. What the fuck do you mean, don't worry? What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know, maybe, sure. Wanna hear a real teaser? Yes. All right, there's a man laying dead in a kitchen with the bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking about murder. You should have been a detective. Yeah, I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. <laughs> Who's the other guy in the room? The suspect is clearly upper middle class. That's not super helpful. Maybe he like ski tripped him to death somehow. Yeah, he whacked him in the jacuzzi in his backyard. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. Ha, that's why he has blood on the one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Aw. Aw. Still funny, though. Inspector Mom with the fucking... Uh... Dead guy in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, goodbye. All right. Still not clear! Bruh. Bruh. Selmers! How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Uh, hell yeah. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station, then blowing it up in November. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you, we should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. The missus vanished, varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. You're telling me you varnished this porch? Bruh, let me climb up! Hmm. Okay. Let's go steal a pretzel for my rat children. I bet some rat babies would love a pretzel. Burnum, burnum. Donk. Oh, 
Hi, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they don't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills, stamped with the company name, good at the company store for company goods. Back in school, they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered uh, his daddy experienced it firsthand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss, God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, the guts of all bosses, and all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere, and he slashes the boss's tires. Huh? <laughs> wow. Picks up a rock and puts it through the windshield. Then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley past the AOK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A very long time ago. Was he... So what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got a troublemaker blood. You got troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I didn't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? No. <laughs> Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think I'd be a weird conversation. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass the story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, and a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. Thanks, Rosa. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Borowski. The teens! Hello, teens. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Um, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. I thought I saw something. Okay, uh, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Listen here, cat. I don't think there's anything else over here. Okay. Now we shall go this way. I feel like there is someone missing from their group. I felt like there was five of them, not four. But I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh. Where's the horm? Where's the horm guy? Honey, I'm horm. <laughs> Honey, I'm horm. So there's the Casey Hartley thing. Just a little cat, just some cat time, you know? <laughs> Why not? Mother. Jesus was plur. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on a Sunday. Charge complete. Ah! Did anyone hear that in my fucking headphones? It's terrifying. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. All right, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. It's not what faith is like, hun. There's more grace than condemnation. Condemnation. But la 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 la. Kind of whatever. All right, I'm out. See you later, sweetie.
Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south. And I had to keep up with the other gooses. Or I'd get lost. That's sad. It's weren't a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About? About Bruce here? Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Okay. I see a little bit of glare in my glasses, but it's not like awful. Do I need to like, I don't know. Don't yell at me. Oh, Lori's here. Let me go feed my rat children. Plastic flowers are like super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. That's true. All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Oh my god. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore and you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. Oh, damn it. Hello, pigeons. Hello, Loriam. Did you go to Harfest? Yeah, uh, ended up at a play because my friend B screwed it up. Cool, I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from like 1980. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school, bunch of ghosts kidnapping them, taking them to the, to the Blood Gorgon. Yep. It's like Suspiria. Is something wrong? Nah, just, I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Ugh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool, I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. <clears throat> so today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will, I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? You'll wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. Maybe we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Cool. Okay. Do, 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 do. 
Hello, B. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My, not, my night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? See you later, I guess. Still, like, putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice today? Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Worse bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Oh no, party barn. <clears throat> you up for brand band practice in a bit? I guess, weird night. How so? Tell you about it later. Huh. No possibilities! Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. wet again and I'm cold again it's just rain hey uh why are we still standing up here someone has to I'm not gonna go and snack Falcon yet I'm gonna see what else is around here can I go inside the click clack no okay oh it's you hey dude hey you working here now yep sucks but it pays Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Girlman and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. Ew. The food donkey. Hey, germ. Hey, what's up, kid? You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird that like makes you half cop. You'll never half catch me half coppa. Ha 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 ha. I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh? You got a heart fest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bedtime, actually. <coughs> it's a guaranteed weird bedtime. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Dunno. We're not like good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey out there or something. I can ask, I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Uh, Casey's tough, he'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk, do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash crossover, hip hop. I like Witch Dagger, they're kind of metal. Oh yeah, I like that Doom shit, right? Da 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 durga. Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home, like a guy from the tracks. What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer and out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this churn out of the parking lot and started creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. <sighs> Holy shit, what did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Yeah, it was a weird bedtime. I'm so upset right now. 
<laughs> I know, right? See ya. All right, Aunt Mall Cop. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right, thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Well, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this, this right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing? Any theories, May? They could have gone around. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on, their, on the other side of the fence? Ugh. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I, you, you, are. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence. Really, May? No, yes, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine. We found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and on what and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. Hmm. The cop always dies. All right, let's go get Greg. All right, Greg. What's up, dude? Ugh. Ugh. Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you about at band practice. Cool. What you up to? We're gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. <sighs> Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out to the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down to, into the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do the shit. Pumpkinhead guy. <gasps> oh. Oh shit. Damn. It's been a while since I have Use the controller! <laughs> Oops. Oh my god! I'm so bad. <laughs> it's the AY that's like getting me. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what is this? What is 
God, that's the worst I've ever done. Wow, May, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Listen. Whew. So fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I straight my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid and I also think was in my head after while I was sleeping and I always yeah and anyway yeah I think I need to do something because this is scary well that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight are you okay dude no I'm kind of freaked out probably wasn't a ghost yeah probably not yeah definitely Ugh. okay fine I'll go figure this out myself oh dude don't be like that you got us oh dudes oh dudes okay fine so we need to maybe see if there's like some ghostly stuff happening around here, like from a source we can trust, such as, does the new paper have like a ghost section? What, why is that a dumb question? You know, we could check out the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich Judy paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. No pun intended. The library. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forgot that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkin head guy. That was me. <laughs> look at me fucking up that song so horribly. The base is broken. I'm dead. <clears throat> hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Wait, is this the second floor? Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. Let's see. Experience mining, construction, well drilling. Never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. Should be like guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chat box group? I am. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. All right. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult. And when they were like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy, with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. That's not, okay, yeah, go on. 
instead of that it was like this freaking pig nightmare you were scared of it no i was bored to death it was take, talking forever about like being kind to others and like i don't know helping an old neighbor do engine repair it sounds nice charity beardy helps old mr plonko fix his hovercraft Ugh, no that's the worst part it always rhymed charity beardy pink nightmarity charity beardy i just don't care -ity. Geez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, Danger everywhere -ity. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. Cool. Yeah, Charity Barity has a pretty hateable face. So. Charity Barity. All right, third floor, going up. All right, where's the microfiche? Oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep, ghost or something, whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence or flew over it or something while carrying something. Oh, right, well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy because he took someone and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That's all, that, that all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Get me to the microfiche. I've never actually used one of these. I kind of want to now. All right, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I don't know how to do, I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to at least do a little tiny bit of research on it. I think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aw. Aw, we friend, we flames be twist? We flames be a twist? Here, let me get the set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. That's me. All right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Um, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Step four, profit. Save any survivors. So far, three men have been pulled out alive. Finding more servers low. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wood. We can know it as Possum Jump. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's possum jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? This screen is so fucking bright. Holy shit. Gonna check it out though. Go nuts. It's actually probably only a mile or so from Miss Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. We'll try to avoid any basements or corpse husbands. Co-side corpse husband. Ooh. Oh, look. Scooch so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Huh, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical society? History that won't stay history. In a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just uh, watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. I It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. 
an actual haunted house. Ugh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Let's look at more stuff. I think that actually might have been it. Yeah, no, that's actually it. Cool. So we got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. We just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all sorts of these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. <laughs> I need to go out there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. <laughs> hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been living in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my fucking god. Or she said freaking, but you know. I say fucking. I stay fucking. <laughs> Selmers, what are you doing here? Oh my god, it's Horm. Honey, I'm Horm. What is it? Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string, empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Oh, yeah. Tonight we have new poems for myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, May, they literally pay her in string. I was just joking, right? Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my stories. I tell friends back home, when they ask about life, out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry, at the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you. Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that? She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Okay, not full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime, but neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. I, I ended that on the wrong inflection. I apologize. This is called Tunnel Frogs. All right, this is my shit. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me, but what do you know, amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. <laughs> he definitely talks to the actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers. Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky, short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called, There's No Reception in Possum Springs. Ha <laughs> ha. She's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the I read I read on the internet, baby face boy, billionaire, phone app sh phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations, more than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs boy billionaires money is access access to politicians waiting for us to die lead in our water alcohol and painkillers replace my job with an app replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in a basement the future is yours force 24 7 entrepreneurs i just want a paycheck in my own life 
I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the y house in the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the West Coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Uh, she rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. That was a good, that was a good rhyme Summers did. <laughs> Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Summers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Smelmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? <laughs> Selmer's immediately hitting us with the fucking anti-capitalist poem. Slam poetry. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so find out anything about our ghost. Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out and work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is, the historical society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome! So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. <gasps> I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And I'm also scared to death. Ta-da, it's Selmers, a good poet. Thought if I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. <laughs> I like how she crossed out poet and then wrote Good poet. What's up, dad, dad, daddy-o? Er. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The er. Yeppers. So, uh, you and mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. Thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. Just a bump. <laughs> you two, all, always two alike, I guess. I got your chill and her smart-assness. I'd hate, just hate to see you two on the odds again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. <sighs> Nothing to handle. Okay. I like that her dad has a little pink nose. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Where is our mom during this hour if it's nighttime? I don't think there's anything new in the crawl space. Oh! Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case. You are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? LOL. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just get torn up like that seems like ghost central. I added a lot of extra words into that sentence. I am very sorry. How so? You're a, you're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually pee scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up the map, and it's pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Lady. 
Milady. I will not be practicing bass after my pumpkin head performance. Thank you. We're just gonna go to sleep. Bedtime? Bedtime. I always like saying that anything that's like something time and like the Mario Party voice where it's like, chance time. No, I'm sick of these dreams. Okay, we seem to be in the like water this time. Bonk. Fish. Uh. Oh, here's another lion. What's up here? Oh, fuck my ass. Hmm. Okay, note to self. Not a thing I can jump on. <laughs> Ooh, we got the sacks. Very good. All right, now we can go back. Oop. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Is it gonna be a big old fish? Oh, 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 I see.
Last night inspired me for for longest night. I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Do my mouth taste weird this morning? Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin. Okay. Nerd. <sighs> Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams, weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than the 10 hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hun. Take it easy. You really don't do look a little tired. Getting up makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. All right, I'm out. Bye-bye, sweetie. Okay, bye. <sighs> oh. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. Awesome springs. After this, a few miles and you go under the highway. And it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall. In the haunted barn in Brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Weird that town ends like, bam. Right here. There's like a line. Somewhere. That no one could see. If you could put it on a map. Just like fucking once upon a time. There's a fucking song. Selmers. Hey, Selmers, you are great last night. Aw, oh, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Yeah. This is a short one because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. Um, <clears throat> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. <laughs> What were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Hmm. Play a mean banjo claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know long back you know long black veil? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know, Willer Garden? Nope. Eh. Uh. 
<clears throat> oh, it's a dude. Methinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. <gasps> I can't get a fucking pretzel. Rude. Ooh, who's this? Whoa, hi down there. Ahoy there, May. Uh, is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel? In the late afternoon? What are you doing home from school? You answer first. It's my side hustle. Salvi salvage. What's that? I'm a junkman, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping, but I'm also a purveyor of fine goods for the discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle, yeah. You wanna come along? Go right back into the tunnel? Gonna be a short trip today, but might be fun. Uh, yeah. This probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take uh, one of the kids over there. Hey teens, I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like, if anyone should ask, I got on this boat with Mr. Selby here. Okay, thanks. What was... Okay, let's go. I mean, that's smart, you know? Ooh. And lots of folks from somewhere else drive past between Fort Lucian and Willow Grove, and they like going to antique shops up there. I think they think it's exclusive or something, and that's the side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique once it's cleaned up a bit. Look around, find something. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. <laughs> you called it junk too. Find right, anything good? Nah. Oh wow, it's a thing. A sled, really bad boat. Maybe you like sleep in it, tiny garbage hammock. Should I take this garbage bed? No. Huh, big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Yes. It's so big and axy. Should I take this garbage bed instead of the garbage axe? No. I'm taking the axe. Anything good? Killer garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer garbage axe. Yes, yeah, so you could conceivably murder someone with this. I have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh, dear. And somehow he run over his own foot. No! <laughs> with the mower. Ah! Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. I'm gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we... wait, why? We got bats down here, so... I don't like bats, but bats like bugs, and bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They're mostly, they'll mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready, we're coming up on the place they like to cluster together. Okay, I got it. Here we go, up above me. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. No bats. All right, we're coming up on another island. 
Garbage ho. I'm a garbage ho. You gonna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> Be sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my beats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went to, up to Stutter's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed, Ed Gress got a six point buck. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. Oh my god, it's a coconut monkey, like the one Granddad brought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? Yes, um, welcome to the family, Mr. Monkey. I love you so much, we just met. Holy shit, Dracula teeth. These are so rad, I could totally be a Dracula. All the false teeth in the world. Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth instead of my dear friend coconut monkey? Nah, -uh. blah. Blah, 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 ham panther. I don't know if the vintage Dracula teeth are that much of a find. Yep, we're taking coconut monkey. Find anything good? Coconut monkey! Oh, wow. Is it still good? He's a little soft, and he smells like trash water. But when he's all dried out, he's going to be a regular member of the family. Huh, all right. You're not going to steal him for your shop or anything, right? Uh, no. Not even tempted. I think I can let this one go, May. Coconut monkey. And that's how I saved longest night. Huh, <laughs> wow. Did you ever tell your kids? What, no, it spoiled the magic. Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. All right, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever, get the light ready. Shine it up there and get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Here they come. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them good. Woo. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. <laughs> Well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counted. Seem to find new ones all the time and lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Come here, bat. Oh. Whoa, old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. Can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars, they were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. Anything good? Nah. Oh, huh. Wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty though. Do I want this thing? I don't even know what it is. It's gross that I don't care about sports anymore. Oh, nice. Football, our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip on the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. I could probably stop a bullet even, I don't know. It smells inside though. Do I want this thing? Yeah. It's functional. <laughs> Find anything good? Football helmet. 
Oh, you sure you want that? Did I finally find something you want? Well, I mean, it's cool. You take it. No, it's all right. It's your boat. It's your garbage. You can have it. No, that's fine, May. No, I think you should have it. No, May, you take it. Take it. I don't want it. Neither do I take it. It's yours. Come on, take the fuck out of it. No. Uh, take the fucking helmet, Salvi. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry, I yelled. Me too. You happy with your helmet? Yeah, it's functional. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back here, though. Unless you clear them before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh, wow, is that where we're going? Well, you got rid of most of the bats back there, so maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. The big one? Thank God I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough. River just ate up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir, too, I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. 20-year-old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. All right, here we are. The big one. The big one. Wow. This looks like something I dreamed or something. It's familiar in some ways. Back when they thought the trolleys would stay on the track. Come a big flood, but nah, they went right along with the river, bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez, can't fix something like this. What are you gonna do? Dam up the river, dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting someplace beyond the grave, like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh yeah. You gotta go look around? Have to say, not much back this far usually. Most stuff washes in from the side channels, gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe or secret. Do I want to take this? No. Just junk now. I got nothing to lock up anyways. Mm. Tuba. Wow. Wonder if it still works. Should probably clean all of the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? No. Also, some horn playing ghost is going to haunt me if I take it from here. I think I'd rather take the lock. I feel like I, I'm, I can use the lock at some point for some reason. Yeah. Thing is like someone's intentions in it or something feels heavy someone should have it Got anything good got a lock and a key oh what are you gonna do with that i don't know i just figured someone should have it hmm that's thoughtful may I feel like we're a thousand miles away from possum springs yeah we're not so far though let's get going Here we are. <sighs> wow. Uh. So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so, yeah, yeah. Basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archeologist will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah. I'll be fine. I'm just going to look around for a bit. Take your time. Oh. Hmm. 
<laughs> All the teens aren't down here. Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor. I'm gonna get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too, good luck. Hello, church mom. Hey, you free? Maybe. Wanna go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Pastor's gone, I'm gonna go skip out. Aw, yeah. Let's skip work. Only I'm skipping work, hun. Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friend and I when we were your age. Oh, okay, I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh? This is nice. Used to be a lot more trees around up here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. So what is this place? Jenny's Field, ever heard, ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here, and the woman's daughter is in front of her, and then she's just gone, like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep, no one could see because it, um, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny, this is Jenny's Field. They never found her, just gone. So wait, why are we here? Wait, you're not up for a little risk taking? <laughs> ah, what's wrong? I thought it was a sinkhole something. Hmm, how about that? Okay, what is that? For some reason before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Who knows, Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny, but slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? Haha, <laughs> oh sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then and not much climbing. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. Haha, <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Um. The highway. What does it look like? Snake, but like made of concrete with cars. Big snake. Big snake. I got bit by a snake once up here, actually. I haven't heard the story. Yeah, it was a copperhead, jumped out from under a log. My boyfriend at the time, Charlie, he was such a sweetie, tried to suck the poison from the bite on my leg. Wow, that's a good boyfriend. His mouth went numb and he suffered some tissue damage and I still had to go to the hospital. Oh, wow. Don't suck poison from snake bites, sweetie. Right, it doesn't work. Noted. I remember I could tell, I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age where I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks and I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? 
I don't know, feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why, you're my mom. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out, drat. I guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your expression was when he said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey. Aw. Our mom page is filled out, basically. It's Pat. Oh, Bruce. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. this hey jen hey may Borowski. yeah what are you doing back here does greg know you're back nah just here for a day had to pick some stuff up from greg's mom hauling back to school tonight huh didn't you go to school what are you doing here dropped out kind of oh sorry to hear that Eh, whatever what are you going for i want to do fashion design isn't that a job? Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. Yeah, I went to school for fashion design. I have a fucking degree in fashion design, and now look at me. Bullshit. Uh, you still go crossbow hunting? Greg still does, kinda. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it, so I stopped. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a, bolt, put a bolt in his face. Yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh, yeah, all the time. Well, tell him that cousin of mine, he needs to come see me out in Bright Harbor. Sure thing. See ya. Take it easy. Jen, Greg's cousin, okay? I like that, um, the way that May, like, references Greg and Jen is with, like, the okay, and it's funny because it reminds me of the way my sister, my sister has a bearded dragon Instagram for her disabled bearded dragon 99, and the way that she thinks 99 talks is by ending things with, like, okay, okay, so that's what I, that's, like, the same voice I'm thinking of. Like, Greg rules okay. Greg's cousin okay. Like, okay, ee. -E. Aw, the friend's not here, Sag. Sag. What's going on with the pickaxe? Oh, I didn't climb up the fucking shit. I need to go back. Maybe. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail. No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going well? Or, uh... Okay, we'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Hmm, not today. Okay, well, let me know. I think maybe I'll hang out with Angus today. I never get to hang out with Angus. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, hello. Hey, hello.
Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Sa Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and give people money. Are you gonna give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. Cool. Oh my god, you're like my dream. You're like my dream. You're that motherfucker. You're the motherfucker in my dream. I think I saw you in my dream. Salim. <laughs> I didn't realize that was gonna like rhyme until I fucking sang it. I think I saw you in my dreams, so lame. Drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Go on. Have you like filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone and I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. What's it about? I play bass real bad. How long have you been playing? Enough to be real, real bad. All right, I'm off. See ya. Later. Rip. Okay. I couldn't take a pretzel for my rat children today, so that means I need to see what's going on. What's going on with my children? There's rats right here. There's rats right here. Are we overrun with rat children? Say yes. <gasps> Yes. Oh my God. Look at all these rats. My babies have left the nest. Yeah, they're wandering out there. Look at my children. Look at my babies. Now they live in the, the flower basement. There's a door right there, but I don't think I can go in there. Very proud of my children. All right. <sighs> Bonk. Bonk. Uh oh. Ooh. Can't believe they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case. I thought they were playing at the party barn. I didn't, I, I mean, I'm sure they told me in the first chapter and then I just fucking forgot, so. Video outpost two. So I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? No. Oh, that's the end of the conversation. Let's go, I mean, obviously I need to go check out the other places. Bunk. Ooh. Oh, I can go on the roof. <gasps> Sick. Sick. Hey. What are you doing at the semi window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? Yam shortage this Thanksgiving. Aw, oh, geez, we need the yams. Better get them now before they're gone. There's gonna be like yam riots because not enough yams. Worse reasons. All right, well. Bunk. Now there's a man who loves statues. Don't get a lot of people getting statues made of themselves today. We're secure in ourselves, okay? We don't need statues to make us feel better. If I got a statue, I'd have them make me real tall. Bonk, bonk. Oh, is this A-OK -okay drugs? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want to get back up there, you know? So I need to go back into Greg's apartment. Okay. 
Okay. It's like, go. Oops. Sick. Sick! Ooh. <gasps> you hella birds. <laughs> um, hello. Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring. Same way I found it. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. That's not true. We just did a play at the hardware store. We used the counter as a stage. Oh, this is the only stage in town. That's only a stage. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting on anything on here. What? <laughs> at least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound, infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. <laughs> That it is, that it is. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. Small world. <laughs> well, small town at least. Definitely. See ya. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Whoa, pentagram. Doesn't prove anything weird, teens. Spooky though. Three weird teens I met. <laughs> Hello, birds. Okay, so we met the guy with the violin. We met someone playing saxophone. So now there has to be a trumpet. And, or the violin. So there's got to be a... a the tuba and what was the other one like a flute or some shit wait i didn't mean to go back in there, so there has to be two more people okay hmm What the hell is a malt? Hey, you never told me uh, why you're feeling down the other day. Do I gotta tell you everything? Nah, nah, just ask it is all. Well, ask someone else. Go smelters. Sup, kid? How's it snacking, Falcon? Just kicking it? Drink too much chocolate milk? Now just throw it up? When the light bulb delivery came, I had to sign for it while puking. Jeezy, okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just flew too close to the sun, the chocolate milky sun. So what's up? Um, 
you up for smashing light some light bulbs? We'll smash some light bulbs. Damn it. Oosh. Hell yeah. So pure and good. Cathartic. Bitch. Bonk. Attack the bulb planet! Don't throw a thing at me again! Ah! I'm so fucking ready for you, bro. Bonk. Blow up the sun! Don't do it. Bonk. I think I got cut! Bonk. Yeah, that's definitely a cut right by my ear. I found that standing towards the back of the garbage can um, is like the best way to just jump and smack them. <gasps> Get it together, dude. I thought I got it. I've only missed two so far. All right, I'm smiling, but it hurts. Bitch. Bitch. Ouch. Wow, out of bulbs. Hell yeah. Wonder if we needed any of those. I mean, you did just get a light bulb delivery, so whatever. Christine will order more. It's a magical place, indeed. Uh. Okay. Well, I did that for now. Do I know you? No. Oh. Aren't you Greg's cousin? You really look like his cousin. Not his cool cousin, Jen. Like, the other cousin. No. Who are you then? Why are you here? I'm trying to find your city council. Town council or a town. Right. Why are you looking for them? Supposed to be demoing an infrastructural and municipal services management program. What? Helps you manage things like snow plows and broken hydrants and stuff. Oh yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figured it'd be helpful. I don't know, lots of places are just scared of new things. Just wanna keep things like they're forever falling apart. It's frustrating. You are really into this, huh? I mean, it's my job, so. I had a job, I bagged groceries. Could you program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's all gonna be robots anyway, so. Jeez, yeah, huh? I got it, you're Donna's cousin. Yeah, she used to babysit me. Oh wow, are you the kid that killed a bird with her mace? It was an accident and I was like nine. Uh, I thought it was perfume or something. I thought the bird would like it. Well, you were nine. It died like instantly, just ack, woof, dead. Uh, oh my God. Okay, well, I'm gonna go, good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. Bye. Bonk. All right, what's going on over at the food donkey? The food donkey. Germ. Hey, hey, what? Wanna hang out? I got plans later. Okay, well, I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. Yeah, sure. Up on my bike. Really? Where is it? Tied up behind the food donkey. I guess you could like run behind. Okay, fine. You sure your bike's gonna be safe? Yeah, I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. It's cool. I feel so alive. Scrapes are cool like that. Let's get my elbow. I can like ride you to the hospital for the serious wound. Put the siren on. Damn, we went all the way back past my house. So what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Never thought about it before. Okay, bye. Oh my God, germ. Oh geez, dude. 
Hey. What the hell, man? Jump, it's fine. Oh, for real? Did you scare me to death? That's pretty fucking high. Why you jump off a big you jump off big stuff all the time? Yeah, but like that's in town, nice flat ground. Not like I could just go jumping off cliffs and whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot you grew up in town. So do we, what are we doing here? I come here a lot. Wanted to show you something. Are you showing me the sewer? I thought you'd be interested. I saw like ten rats down here once. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I would still break my fucking ankle jumping down here, you fucking nuts. Okay, so I started coming down here a few months ago to like just hang. Okay. And I noticed, oh, hey, rabies. Ah, oh! rabies is my sewer friend. Its name is rabies. His name is rabies. His name is rabies. I found him when they pulled that body out of here after that big flood a few months ago. Oh, neat. He was sad and wet and hungry, so I brought him some chips and ice cream. It sounds right. And I wanted the other possums to not pick on him, so I named him after something they're all afraid of. This is the best story ever. He's so rad. Possums can't get rabies, I thought. So that's why they're so fucking sick. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> He's gonna rule this whole ravine someday. You be nice to me, okay, rabies? I love him. You got any pets? I got some rats downtown. Sweet. So there's like weird stuff on the walls in here. Ancient cave paintings. Not new, at least. What do you think it means? Uh, rabies is trash king. It's a prophecy written by ancient hobos. There's like all kinds of secret places like this around town. I'm like the only person to really map. Hey, rabies, what you got there? Oh my God, is that a fiasco bar? You want me to unwrap that for you, guy? Holy effing crap. He is the best. You should take him home. No way he'd pee all over everything and dig a hole in the wall and live there. Oh yeah, rabies is wild, let him be wild. Oh, look, he's eating it. See ya. Oh, yeah. Rabies? Oh, us just, like, jumping off the fucking cliff. How did he get over this thing? I can't jump that. No way he could have. There's no hole. How did he do it? I mean, I guess he could really be a ghost. I think he's a ghost. Ugh. What's out there? What's out there? I wish I can go inside, click clack. Click clack, patty whack. <clears throat> so I said I could like Take it to the park, blah, 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 blah. You ready to go? Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. The pod! Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. My mom used to take us up here to play Frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a Frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh, we stopped after the Frisbee. Oh, 
posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly, there's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old uh, scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Puff, puff. You all right? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Limes? Limestone. You like to do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh, limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, this was all underwater or something at one point. <clears throat> No way. I mean, rocks don't lie. Like, right where we're standing, there were, like, ancient, horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Oh. Oh, I didn't know it goes up. Puff, puff, puff. Phew. Need to take a break. I'm okay, I'm okay. No prob. Huff, huff. Okay, so this place was underwater. Why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know, there might be, a, I guess, but not everything became a fossil. Why? I don't know, I'm not an expert on any of this, but there are, were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird because things are so boring nowadays to think that all that crazy stuff was going on here. It was always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Puff, puff, puff. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute, okay? I should know all of this stuff about like ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime, puff, stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back in school. What happened? It was all filled up. Class fills up fast, I bet. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers or some of them. I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us up, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. <clears throat> Ooh. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird, used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were, I forget. They were involved in the possum massacre, that like labor strike thing, where it was like the miners versus National Guard. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys and some of the miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see, nothing left to be scary. Ew. 
wow, we're up really high and really far out. I can't see a town from here. It's south of us behind whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah, back at school I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish, I can never remember them other than I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. I remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire and we spotted the constellations together and you told us all about them. That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dream up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay then. All right, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember or dreamed that one time. Ugh, whichever. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Okay, that's a, I know this one a little from like prog rock album covers. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Well, crap. It's high up enough. It's always, it's kind of always looking at all of us, right? Goddamn. All right, well, there's one, I guess. Oh, it's a whale. And it's got like the world on its back. Oh, that, oh wow, that's sad. Yeah, kind of a lot of responsibility. Did the whale consent to this? I think it just always was that way. Oof. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. They didn't know what the earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him and he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one, don't remember his name. He lived a, uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah. My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, liked shiny things, was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, well, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was a little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. It's a pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did you not know your saints at all? Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all. 
I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me and my mom didn't either. And like, um, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot and my mom was probably worse. She like wouldn't feed me, which is why I really liked cooking now. She'd like shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my God, Angus, I didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience, I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I um, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. My dad left like 10 years ago, so who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like, yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet and that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve, something you could debunk or know. I don't know, it saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can like make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or God. So like, I feel like if I had been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Uh, well, so like the constellations, I don't really believe there's a whale out there, but uh, I believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines to the spaces between stars. Like we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns and we like really put our minds and hearts into it. And even if we don't mean to, so I believe in a universe that doesn't care and people who do, pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like when they were having bad times, like you did, God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry, but a few years later, Greg did. So like the stars could stay up there and not give a shit about us, but this wheel is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. Oh, Angus. Yep. Yep. <gasps> I see you in the corner. I should come out here more often. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us in the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god, that's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did, may know. I saw you. Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma, I got an inhaler, the good kind too. No one in heaven or earth could stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Don't we have our garbage ax? Where did we put it? Deep breaths in, out. All right. Ah!
You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or it was some weirdo who lives up there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from there. Ugh. Why does nobody believe me? May, it's like every other explanation is more likely than the ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was. Angus is psychic. But his hat blocks it. No clues, but Angus saw him too! Oh, look at the little constellations. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look real worn out. Dang, I can't read. Okay, no. You look worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? I'm always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. <coughs> you and your mom went on an adventure today. <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. 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 Okay. Go to bed, you. Will do. Hey, be you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow, okay, hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an annoyingly strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. <clears throat> He said it was probably a hunter. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Sorry, for what it's worth, I do, I don't not believe you. Thanks. He has a good night, a good time otherwise. Yeah, learned a lot of stuff about Angus. He's had kind of a rough life. Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since like eighth grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm, Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Yeah, it was great until it was super scary. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. <laughs> Hey, May, this is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird, but there are folks that live up here in the park, and there are hunting camps and stuff. So it was most likely a guy out hunting Buck early. Dude, I, like, felt it. I know, I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime, I had fun. You could put Greg back on. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, 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 dude. I'm an artiste. Were you doing art just now? Sure was. All right, off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, hey, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm Angus. I'm so smart and I have a great ass. Blah, 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 blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. It's a dick with his hat on and a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, mate, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. I love that. All right. Ooh, it's my, hold on. No. Is my coconut monkey in my key? 
Okay, yeah, we'll do bed. Please don't make me do the thing again. I can't, I'm so over doing the dream animals, bro. Don't make me do it. An owl. Is that supposed to be the forest god? Hello. Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you god? No. Oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am god. And I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here then and here now, and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you, other than... What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. And I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all, I lost it. Okay, so a great beast is walking through the sands and they are climbing into the air and now they are making a tear and now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear with their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives and they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea and beyond are things blind and terrible and I am showing you now. Oh God, oh God, they are blind, but they are seeing you and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and choosing and closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming and you are not escaping and the universe is forgetting you and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond, and now there is only the whole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about trees in the fall? What about leaves? Bare existence mean nothing. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, God damn it? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. And the end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. That was like a lot of words for something and nothing there was just there was a lot going on you know <laughs> what oh
morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. A dude at the old snack that come save me from Borden Supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. We message. Blah, 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 blah. Remember back in the day when everyone had, like, their aim away message to, like, spoilers, like Harry Potter spoilers? Like, you would go to message someone and their away message would be, like, Snape kills Dumbledore or whatever the fuck? Does anyone remember that? <sighs> Hello, Mom. Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... No, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby. Okay, I'm out. Why are we talking about... We didn't... It was... You were just talking about... I could just get excited about grandbabies. That's all fucking f fine. But literally at the start of this chapter, you were talking about how you might lose the house. Why don't people understand this concept? Like, it's so fucking selfish, bro. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh God, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her trash baby, Cordelia. Why don't I just have the baby and hand it over to you? Ooh, okay, bye, I'm leaving. Yeah. Absolutely the fuck not. Hey, May. You all right? Yeah, I guess why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Uh, yeah, long week is all. You want to hear a poem cheer you up? Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long, but I report life is too short. Haha. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Summers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Chazikov's up there again. He ever, like, dropped that telescope? Oh, no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh? They did karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. What am I doing? I don't I don't know. <laughs> Teens. So like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Someplace called Mulvey. Mulvey? You know someone from Mulvey? Yeah? 
Do you know where Mulvey is? Do you know what Mulvey is? No. I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? He doesn't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulvey? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to go get back in the sun now. I want to know what the fuck y'all mean by that. What the fuck is Mulvey? Are you saying it's like real dangerous or is it like, I don't get it. Where are you, Pastor K? <gasps> What's going on here? Because there will be children there. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. <laughs> we have resources and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring business into town. Business means jobs and job means people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half dead church stacked full of bums. Wow. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Ugh, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this, was this all about Bruce? It was, is, whatever, it's out of our hands now, but there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Hmm. Eh, sounds serious, I guess. So like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? I don't think it was a dream. Oh, wow. That happens, right? Or it like happened? Sure. Can you tell me about it? <laughs> I was in this desert, as far as I could see, where like all that was left of the world was bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it, but I was like drawn to something and it came up over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God, just sitting there, up on another hill, or dune, whatever, just hanging out? Yeah, seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They were kind of a jerk. They, like, didn't care. They didn't care if you were there. No, I mean, they didn't care, in general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were, that people kept coming to them with questions, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about it. How nothing matters. Like the universe is ending, and everything is being forgotten. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? No. No, I mean, I've got friends. I've been with them every day since I got home, but hmm, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives more effectively. I don't think I believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God for at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. 
on my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure. It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believe that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there, whether anyone is watching, anyone who gives a shit. No, but then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. I'm sorry. But also she's right. You know? Hi, mom. I just pissed off Pastor K. Hey, hun. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hun. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, like there's so much empty space. Come on, Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. May, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. Flubbishin. Bruce? Hi, Bruce. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you, and I'm sorry I caused her trouble, but I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice getting to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know? I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to, but I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Hey, B. Hey. You all right? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? Wandering around town. Wandering around town. Have fun. Thanks. Oh, I keep forgetting to jump up on the... The fucking wires! <laughs> Stop. 
still up here? Me and I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. It's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. Was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you wanna come? Yeah, let's go. Totally, let's. My friend Casey used to come out here and smoke. I used to smoke when I was younger. Oh really? Okay, it was once I was younger though. I was 12, good age to quit. I could vape. You could vape. I'm not gonna vape. Probably a good idea. Um, so do you remember the thing we squished on the tracks last time? <coughs> yeah! What are we gonna do? Gonna make it flatter? <coughs> Kinda, but no. You'll see. I'm gonna pick a new thing to squish him with. Alright. <coughs> Alright, then. Oh, we switched sides this time. You know what we don't have around here? A taco place? Serial killers? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'd vote for us getting a taco place first but yeah we never got around to getting our own serial killer you ever think about murdering someone like okay so a few longest nights ago i went to bright harbor with my aunt and cousin and we went on the subway and like there's no railing down there above the tracks and i had the sudden urge to like shove someone off it it was weird and i felt guilty about it for a long time but like i didn't actually do it so i mean is that normal I think that's pretty normal. I guess you could actually, I guess you actually did try to kill someone. <sighs> that was different. How? That was like not planned and I wasn't trying to kill him. It was just a thing that happened. So yeah, it wasn't like my first step on the way to serial killerdom. Sorry. cool you know what i like tacos pictures of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs where the dinosaurs are watching it are where the dinosaurs are watching it in the sky oh yeah that's like every single picture of that meteor weird wonder if they knew terrifying truly Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Yay! Oh god, your little dudes are... It, like, hurts my soul. It speaks. The art speaks, May. It calls my name. Ugh. That was cool. Yeah, it was. I gotta, I gotta get going. Things are, like, hectic right now. Oh, what's up? Uh, jeez. Just, like, be careful, okay? How so? Like, go home at dark there's some bad stuff going on like what oh god i don't even know where to start just like be careful all right thanks for the warning about whatever you're warning me about don't mention it you're welcome laters <laughs> nice I like the way that she drew it. Okay, so I think... Um, went to the pickaxe. Okay, so I'm not gonna go in this next area. I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and end it there because I don't wanna run into the issue of having another almost like three hour long video. Um like part two was it was long so i think just knowing that i still have to go with greg and b and go through like the full days and everything too and then the resolution to that that chapter i think that's going to be a whole other fucking episode itself and then we might even have to split chapter four to two parts ah so anyway anyway all right well
thanks for watching gamers um so yeah i guess we're gonna have a second part to chapter three um just given how long it's almost been three hours already and no 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 we're not doing that again so um next episodes more three scary games um another short independent game i haven't decided if it's going to be another core game or some other type of thing but something that could be done in like one or two parts we'll see um and yeah so i will see you on the next part of night in the woods part 3.5 i guess yeah all right goodbye <laughs>